But it's just the same thing like when we requested to interview, um, now I can't remember his name. When we requested to interview Lincoln Riley, obviously Jayla Hurst's old coach. And obviously that fell through. So now we're hired a quarterback coach who has ties with Jalen Hurts. So it seems like we, we we pressed to hire a coach who has some ties to Jalen Hurts. I mean, I'm not Sherlock Simone. That was fly. Sherlock Simone. Sherlock Moan. But I'm connecting some dots here, and the dots is looking weird. Yeah, yeah, I, I, oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. I, What's up? What's happening? What's going on? What's poppin'? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Buzzwords. I'm Simone bringing you guys the daily sports talk. So if you haven't already turned on your notification bell, go ahead and do that now because as you can see, when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles news, updates, analysis, opinions, it's coming every day because guys, just like this bombshell we got with the hiring of our quarterback coach, Brian Johnson. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. So before we get into that, because obviously, you know, Brian Johnson has had a relationship with Jalen Hurts since Jalen Hurts was four years old. And we're going to get into that. But first, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Also, shout out to you guys for helping me reach my subscriber goal. I'm over 2,000 subscribers. My goal for the end of the month was to get 2,000 subscribers. So shout out to you guys for helping me out. You know what I'm saying? A beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So let's get into Brian Johnson. So we obviously hired Brian Johnson as our quarterback coach. Press Taylor is officially bye-bye. Gone. Now, what makes Brian Johnson so interesting is we're going to get into his background. But first, let's start with the fact that he has known Jalen Hurts since he was four years old. And why is that? You guys already know why that's news. Because when we fired Doug Peterson, it made it seem like, OK, we're going to win all in with Carson Wentz. Because, you know, it was Carson Wentz couldn't work with Doug kind of thing. So when we hired, when we hired Nick Sirianni, who's basically Frank Wright's like a a limb off I should have said limb a branch of Frank Wright's tree obviously Frank Wright was the offensive coordinator that Carson Wentz was in love with had Carson Wentz look like an MVP when we hired Nick Cerrone as our head coach it seemed like okay we're all in on Wentz so why do we hire this quarterback coach who has a long-standing relationship with Jalen Hurts what message does that send back to our quarterback locker room it's just making things so confusing for everyone because then it seems like we're still invested in Hurts now let me tell you how he knows Hurts so well so when he's known Hurts since he was four because um David Johnson not David Johnson about it Brian Johnson Brian Johnson used to play for Jayla Hurts dad so when Brian Johnson was in high school he played for Jalen Hurst's dad. Jalen Hurst's dad was Brian Johnson's coach in high school. Interesting. So now let's go through Brian Johnson's coaching tree and we'll see how that reconnects him to Jalen Hurts. So Brian Johnson is only 33 years old. Really? Wow. So he started coaching in, when he was 23 years old. So Brian Johnson used to play for Utah under Urban Meyer. So, you know, he's played under a great coach. You know what I mean? So that's helped his coaching repertoire to play under the greats. You know, you study the greats, you become one of the greats. So he played under one of the greatest coaches um, on the college football level, arguably. So he played actually backup to Alex Smith as a freshman in 2004. So Brian was a backup to Alex Smith. Then once Alex Smith left, Brian stepped up his sophomore year. Um, he was 26 and seven as a starter, as the starter starting quarterback at Utah, and he finished as the winningest quarterback in school history at Utah, which is amazing. So he's a guy who excelled at his position, which is always great when you see a quarterback coach actually excel at being a quarterback. So in 20, in 2011, 2012, he became Utah's quarterback coach. He started coaching at um, 23 
he had he didn't really make it in the NFL. I don't think he ever made it off a of practice squad, so he went immediately to coaching. So 2012-2013, he became the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach at Utah. 2014 and 2016, he became Mississippi State's quarterback coach, and that's when he developed his relationship with Dak Prescott while he was at Mississippi State. And Brian Johnson tried to recruit Jalen Hurts to Mississippi State, but obviously Jalen went to Alabama. So Brian Johnson wanted to coach Jalen Hurts in college, but he didn't get the chance to. Now he's getting the chance to coach him in the pros. So it's just like... Also, he was accredited to developing Dak Prescott. Obviously, Dak Prescott is a guy who, you know, Wentz got a lot of comparisons to coming out pretty much up until this season when Wentz just completely sucked. It was always, who's better, Wentz or Dak? 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 You know what I'm saying? So this guy has ties to Dak Prescott and Dak Prescott is also a guy that Jalen Hurst got a lot of comparisons to when he was coming out the draft. So it's just this weird little triangle <laughs> that keeps connecting Carson to Dak and Hurts to Carson and these coaches. It's just this weird little triangle. So when Jalen Hurst was coming out of the draft this past year, Brian Johnson was speaking on Jalen Hurts and he was saying what an exceptional talent Jalen Hurts was and how Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott are two of the most greatest talents he's ever coached. I will put it up here. Um, not coached, but ever just witnessed. And he was saying it's not just his on field ability. He was saying Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott both have the mental toughness that he loves and the mental toughness he hasn't seen in a lot of players. So that's just another like because you guys know Carson Wentz is just not mentally tough. The guy got bitched, and instead of coming out and balling, like, he just said, I want to get traded. Dude, you sucked all season. And you got an attitude with us? We got an attitude with you. You better come out here and fight for your spot. It was just that little weak mentality that Carson Wentz had once he got bitched. You better be working on your plays. Don't be worried about getting traded, boy. We already locked in with you. That mental toughness is not something that you can teach. That's something that's just in you. And he said that and Hurts are two players that has that mental toughness in him. So, so when he was with Houston in 2017, he was the Houston's offensive coordinator and quarterback coach. He let, helped lead Houston's offense to 436 yards per game, which ranked 35th nationally. Okay, so then in 2018, 2019, he became Florida's um, quarterback coach to Florida Gators. And he also is known for helping develop this um, Kyle Trask, who is a 2021 prospect. And Kyle Trask really took a leap this past year at Florida. And Brian is accredited to helping Kyle take that leap. Um, and Kyle is going to be a 2021 prospect. He's expected to go like top five um, in quarterbacks. And also he was in the run for the Heisman Trophy. So he has helped develop Dak Prescott. He's helped develop this Kyle Trask who's going to be coming out the draft. Not sure what he's going to do on the NFL level. Um, but he's definitely a guy who's had his hands in um, the development of some, you know, top talent. Whether they're coming out the draft or top talent in Dak Prescott who has proved himself on the NFL level and the guy's only 33 years old so who knows what else he can freaking do you know these coaches be like 65 um so in 2020 he became the offensive coordinator for Florida and he became the first black offensive coordinator in the University of Florida's history so Brian is going to be an intriguing guy I'm interested to see how he what this means you already know what I'm interested to see what does this mean for the locker room what does this mean for the the, the, the quarterback seat what does this mean like once we hire Nick Sarani, it's like, okay, we locked in with Wiz. Then we bring in Brian, and it just confuses things. And ah, Let me know how y'all are feeling. What does this make y'all think? Because it's just leaving me just confused. And maybe I'm slow. Maybe it's something I'm not missing. But it's just the same thing like when we requested to interview. Um, now I can't remember his name. When we requested to interview Lincoln Riley. Obviously, Jayla Hurst's old coach. And obviously that fell through. So now we're hired a quarterback coach who has ties with Jalen Hurts. So it seems like we, we we pressed to hire a coach who has some ties to Jalen Hurts. I mean, I'm not Sherlock Simone. That was fly. Sherlock Simone. Sherlock Moan. But I'm connecting some dots here and the dots is looking weird. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe because i reached my goal but you guys know i want some more subscribers um and leave a comment down below if you made it this far in the video hashtag confused if you made it this far in the video hashtag confused 
and i'll see you guys next time bye